This is my interplanetary cruiser. It's not something you can generally build in Kerbal Space Program. It's pretty clear they were intended to be built in orbit. They are really hard to launch. Still, once you get them launched, used judiciously, they can give you a nice little interplanetary ferry, which is what we've got going here. We're so high above the planet right now that the sun is actually, the, the dawning sun is actually illuminating us from beneath. And you can see that we used up most of our fuel in the upper atmosphere there, but we're almost in orbit. We just need a little bit more effort. And our effort will come by these guys being switched over into toggle mode, hybrid plasma mode toggle mode. Now in this mode they don't have very much thrust but their fuel efficiency is a whole lot higher and that'll be super important as we try and get a proper orbit and, uh, and go in between planets. So this here is Delaney, he's a scientist and he'll take you on a tour of the ship. Up here at the top of the ship we have some detectors and some science as well as, of course, a place for us to pilot from. This, well, let me go ahead and switch in and open it. This will be our home. This will be our orbital logistics module, which will allow us to interact with other ships in the area by giving them fuel or taking fuel from them. Inside, this is a hollow chamber, and inside is a science kit this science base will allow us to uh, perform much better science as we wander through the system. But I accidentally rotated it funny, so it's a little difficult for him to... There we go. There we are. That's what we want. Like, So get in the science base, please. Oh, there. Perfect. So what's one scientist away? Now this scientist needs to go to the same place, but he'll finish taking you on the tour first. Below the science bay is a whole bunch of carbonite manufacturing components, and these here are snack pods. Snacks are the life support of choice for the Kerbals, and we're going to need to have those for our interstellar voyages. This is a huge chunk of engines, but this weird line running down to the bottom, this is our carbonite uh, mining and refining chain, and these are carbonite drills. So we're going to be able to land on moons, mine carbonite, and very slowly refill all of our um, fuel using that carbonite. And I have to go into the science bay. You're a scientist. You don't need to pilot anymore. And now we have a fully operational starship. So, in the dark, what do you think happens? Well, we turn on the lights. And we get a nice blue glow. It looks nice to me. And it's going to be helpful in trying to remember which way is which when we're in deep space. I guess we should name it something. Let's call it the Adventure. So, what's the first thing the Adventure has to do? Uh, get refueled. Alright, some bug is preventing us from resupplying from Kerbin. So we're gonna pop off to Minmus and resupply there. I didn't think that the carbonite blobs were this big. Oh, crap. Okay, well, we're not actually 100% full, but I'm going to count that as full enough. Let's go to Eve. We're, we're going to go ahead and land on the moon around Eve which is known for its extreme tininess. Now Eve's atmosphere is considerably thicker, so we don't have to go quite as low. I'm gonna bring us down to 80,000. All right, well, we're about to pass through Eve's atmosphere. I think this would be a good time for us to shut her away our solar panels. We already lost one. We don't need to lose any more. We 
we could have gone a lot lower. Okay, here we go. We're going to land on one of the smallest things in the solar system. But it does have a supply of carbonite. And that'll be enough to get us going. Well, we're now getting close enough to the surface that I can see debris. Those are tiny, tiny bubbles. I might be taller than they are. Wow, I am bigger than they are. I better turn it off so I can see the ground. I should have included an anchor. Alright, I think it's time to take off and uh, return to maybe all the way back to home. Let's go ahead and do that. So, the adventure. So far, a pretty good ship. Seems to be doing really, really well. A couple of small design flaws, but uh, nothing that's prevented Bob and his scientist buddies from getting their job done, and that's all that really matters. Werewolf! Now I'm a squirrel monkey. Of course I'm a werewolf! <laughs> Leland Sklar, survivalist. Oh, save me. Oh, this is God. I've reviewed it with the committee, and no, we won't save it. Should I? Yes, I'll take the next step. Okay, we're returning back to Kerbin after a visit to Eve. Alright, we are now re-entering the atmosphere. And here we go. The adventure has settled into a nice orbit again. And now it embarks on its new mission as a giant space museum. Hooray! It's been to Eve, and then it's been back. It stopped by on Gilly, but forgot to get any science, so we're going to have to go back. <laughs> um, and it proved that this construction method works great. These heavy engines are ideal for traveling between planets. And I can build something even bigger and better. Launching it might be difficult, but hey, I'm always up for a challenge when it involves hurling large ships into space. There we go. And Bob, I'll leave you here.